Welcome to Vintage Rates PGH. Today, I'm going to go over how to decide the best method for cleaning and restoring your barbell. Because if you choose the wrong method, you might just ruin it. That's right. That wonderful barbell you've spent so much money on, or maybe you found a great deal on, and you want to clean it up, you want to take care of it, maybe you want to restore it. Don't ruin it. Use the best method possible. Let's start out by breaking down the different types of finishes on a barbell because that is your clue, your method, for figuring out how to clean it and how to restore it. The two main methods that I would suggest using to clean up and to restore your barbells would be either to use an oxalic acid bath in 3-in-1 as a finishing oil or to just use 3-in-1 oil. The reason that I don't suggest using vinegar, rust removal agents, and gels, and liquids, and things is that they are harsh to the various finishes, and they will even destroy and take away some finishes if you're not careful. Even when it comes to bare steel, you could get away with some of those products and things, but I find that oxalic acid is just easy. And, and I'll show you how to build a bathtub big enough for a barbell in my next video, so make sure you subscribe if you're going to use an oxalic acid bath. Now how do you tell the difference? Well, starting out, if you have a bare steel barbell or bare steel sleeves like this Texas Power Bar or this vintage York, then you'll want to use oxalic acid to soak them. Put them in, use the same recipe, the same directions, that I have for weight plates. Three tablespoons per one gallon of water. And that comes from Eric Stanek, the barbell guru, my barbell mentor. You put it in, you soak them, you bring them out, and they look horrible. <laughs> I know you're probably like, wait a minute, what? Well, just stay with me here and make sure you check out my next video because when you take them out, they are going to be, that bare steel is going to have no rust on it anymore, but it's going to be a greenish, grayish, murky color. Next video will show how to turn that into something like this, where it is a beautiful, shiny bare steel. So that's what you do for bare steel, oxalic acid. When it comes to Cerakote or stainless steel, you don't need an oxalic acid bath. There's probably not that much rust. Hit it with some three in one oil, use a nylon brush. On the stainless steel, you could get away with a brass wire brush if you really needed to, but Cerakote, I would stay away from a brass wire brush. When it comes to chrome, I have a chrome bar up here, and black zinc, there's a little bit of wiggle room in between. If it's really coated with rust, then maybe soak it. Put it into OA and soak it and go about everything except using a wire brush on the black zinc or black oxide. Don't use a wire brush on that. You can use a wire brush on the chrome though. If there isn't that much rust, then why go to the trouble of oxalic acid? Just hit that black zinc, black oxide, or chrome with some 3-in-1 oil, let it sit for a little bit, and then scrub it with a nylon brush if it's chrome, you can get away with a brass wire brush at that point as well. What am I forgetting here? Hmm. I think I've covered most of the finishes. Ah, there's one more. So vintage York bars have bluing. Bluing is a black color that was originally applied to them. I'm telling you, just like with weight plates and revealing original paint, if you have a vintage York bar or a bar old enough that they might have used that method, try an OA bath to reveal that original bluing before you go stripping it completely down to bare steel. It'll keep more in line with the original finish, since that is the original finish, and you will have restored your vintage York split sleeve barbell. Please like and subscribe so that you catch the next video where I break down what wheels to use and how to use them so that you can polish your barbell and get it to look the best that it possibly can. Thanks for watching. Old weights, new gains.